power. The power of an evaluation is the probability to conclude that a program has an impact when in fact it has one. It's a probability of being right. When submitting a proposal, you should include the calculations of the power of your evaluation. For this, try to use as much information as you have available. In our example, we are lucky because we have administrative baseline data. We have some of the information needed for this calculation. The expected mean outcome in the control group after the program, its expected standard deviation, and the expected mean outcome of the treatment group after the program. We already have those three values saved as local macros. We are missing only two required inputs. First, the size of the control group. I can obtain this number by writing count if t, the assignment variable, equals double equal to zero. Do that's 157. The return list tells me that this value can be recalled under the name Rn. So I write a local marker in zero, the size of the control group equal to the number Rn, 157. The same thing for the treatment group. Count if t equals to one. Unsave the value in the local macro n1 equal to rn. The command for the power is the same as the command for the sample size, but with different input arguments. The beginning of the syntax is the same. Some side mean of the control group, the mean of the treatment group, the required option standard deviation, and here is when it becomes a command to calculate power. We add n1, the size of the control group, that is under the local N0, and N2, the size of the treatment group, which is the local macro N1. Do this, and this evaluation has a power of 88%. This is, of course, under the hypothesis that the correlation within villages is zero. Whenever it's necessary, you should take into account the intra-cluster correlation of your data.